what's up guys welcome back to my channel you already know i'm coming to y'all with another story time it's story time bitch by the title below y'all already know what this story about to be about so sit back relax grab your snacks and get ready for the tea where do i even start this was about damn near three years ago actually and i had got a job at home depot like for some reason i always wanted to work at like lowe's and home depot and stuff like that and i actually worked at lowe's too that's a whole nother story but yeah so i got this job at home depot and it was downhill from there beach let me, you. Let me take y'all back for the um let me go from the very beginning okay so I applied to Home Depot, but I didn't necessarily want the job like at the time. This man called me back for an interview, so I might as well. But on the day that um on the day that he called me for the interview, I was like, damn, I want to start working right now. Like, I'm just about to lie and say I'm out of town. And <laughs> if he move on, he move on. But if he like be like, oh, let's reschedule it, we reschedule it. So that's exactly what he did. Um, and he rescheduled it and I'm just like, okay, I'll be coming in from out of town on such and such date and blah, blah, blah. And I just made up like this whole elaborate, like crazy ass lie. <laughs> I really didn't want this job, but like it would have been cool because supposedly you made $12 and $12, $12 is actually like nothing really. Like if, when you're trying to get an apartment, when you have a baby, like my baby was like, some months old at this point like so yeah on the day of the interview the man calls me he was like hey you have an interview at whatever time i don't even know i don't remember the time and i was like oh i'm just coming back in from out of town like um i i don't know what i said some i said something to the effect of i really want this job and i don't know why i was lying like that and i was like um I don't know what lie I made up, but it was to the point, like the lie was so out of control to the point where I told this man, oh, I even have my shirt. I just washed my shirt before I left and I couldn't dry it. So now um, I'm driving with my shirt out the window so I can air dry. I'm trying my hardest to get there. <laughs> I'm a liar. I, I, was, I was pathologically lying. Like, I don't know why I was lying that much. I don't even lie like that, but I don't know what possessed me to lie so much. So. I get to the interview, the dude, he looks about 30. Come to find out he was like 25, but whatever, same, same, kind of. So I don't know why I just thought he was like so much. No, actually he don't look 30, he looked 35. So um, I get like the feeling like, from what I'm seeing is like he only hires like cute girls for the front desk. Because when I walked in, I saw this real cute ass girl. Let's see, we gonna name her because she plays the biggest damn role in this so we gonna call her i'm trying to think what could be her name we're gonna call her nay we're gonna call her nay so yeah she was real real cute yeah, and then the like the other girls they weren't that bad looking but nay was the cutest so i feel like he hired like good looking people for like the front desk like girls he could like flirt and talk with he was one of those kind of managers because you know he was kind of young come to find out he was 25 i thought he was 35 i'm in an interview and i feel like i kind of feel like he flirted with me but i'm like nah he's like this is his job like i don't think he would be that dumb to be trying to flirt with me during the interview basically he tells me he'll call me back if i get the job or whatever so he calls back like the next day no actually he calls back the same day he calls me the same day and tells me that I did get the job and to come fill out the paperwork the next day. So I come fill out the paperwork, whatever, whatever, with this lady. It was like, y'all filling out that paperwork to like three hours, three freaking hours, seriously. And also it took a long time because this man giving like this kind of speech, like, oh, hold up, we, we should name him because he plays a role, in, he plays a big role in this too. So the man that interviewed me, the um I, he was like the assistant manager we're gonna call him i'm gonna call him mike so mike is giving this speech and like it's kind of like an orientation slash fill out your paperwork um and it took hella long so yeah he's like oh i've been working at walmart since i was 16 and i've worked my way up we bleed orange i said walmart huh <laughs> Oh, I've been working at Home Depot since I was 16 years old and I've worked my way up to assistant manager. Assistant. You've been here since you were 16, sir? 
and you're 25. All right, 25? Okay. So, and he's like, oh, we bleed orange here. We, you know, just like the whole little speech, welcome to the team, y'all, the Home Depot family, y'all go hard for us, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, okay, bitch, I'm pretty sure I bleed red, but okay, y'all take this shit a little too serious. Like, this is Home Depot, love. This is not damn a Fortune 5000 company, Fortune 500, whatever. <laughs> this is not that. This is Home Depot. Okay, we sell wood. Wood. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just like, okay, the fuck? And then it was the thing like, oh, go around the table and tell some shit about yourself. I'm like, my name is Tatiana. I have a daughter. I need a job. I'm not gonna say my name is Tatiana. I'm ready to bleed orange. Mm. No, the fuck? <laughs> no. no, bitch, fuck you. Fuck Home Depot, I need that money. So after that, then we start filling out the paperwork. The lady comes in, I, I think she was like the manager, uh, the HR manager or whatever. She was like, okay, and this is the number that we agreed on, $11. I'm like, I thought it was $12. She was like, no, customer service starts off at $11. If you wanna be in, um, what was that department called? It was like basically the customer service for like lumber, like the wood and stuff, that's $12, which you would have to like pick up the wood, prepare orders, pick up all this heavy ass wood and stuff and like roll it out to the people, that's $12. I'm like, I like wearing nails and doing minimum work and looking cute. So no, I don't wanna do that. Guess I'm gonna take this $11, the fuck, <laughs> whatever. So I was like, okay, that's fine. Better than nothing, better than zero dollars. So whatever. So yeah, that day goes by. And then um, they give me like my schedule in the first week is basically like the orientation on the computer, get, like taking the assessments and you know, getting quizzed and all that stuff. And it was like, it can take up to a week. I'm like, a week? Usually this shit take like one day. I remember I had to do the same thing at Walmart and it took two days tops. So it was like, it could take up to a week. I'm like, a week of free money? Bet, I'm about to stretch this shit out to a week. And he was like, usually people only take up to three days, but it can take a week. I'm like, three days, hell no. Nah. I'm about to stretch this shit out to a week. And best believe I stretched it out to a week. And they was always coming to check on me like, are you okay back here? It's taking you a little long. I was like, oh, I thought it took a week. It was like, yeah, and in some cases it does usually three days. And I'm like, oh, okay, no, I'm just really trying to get the right knowledge of the company and make sure I'm doing everything right um, because I really want to be good at my job. Some things I have to retake. They was like, don't worry about retaking it. If you get under a 80 then retake it but if not go ahead and move on to the next day i'm like okay no bitch absolutely not child when i tell y'all i was back there on snapchat the whole damn time i was back there eating i was back there just looking cute i was just back there chilling so on one particular day i think it was like my third day there i get up and i take a break i take a little restroom break i go to the restroom whatever and I see, so, okay, so for this part, maybe a little confusing if y'all haven't seen my whole next door story time, well, um, baby daddy cheated with the bitch next door. Yeah, so y'all need to refer back to that. I walk up in the restroom, it's the hoe from next door, in the restroom. I'm just like, oh God, why is you here? What do you need from Home Depot? You you is not a crafty bitch. You not finna build nothing. You not finna make nothing. Like, what, what are you here for? Like why? Child, I was I was so pissed. I was so damn pissed. And at this time, three years ago, let me see. At this time, the situation was like two years old, but that situation, that situation really fucking like low key traumatized me. So I wasn't over it. I was not over it. And it really ticked me the fuck off that this bitch was in my workplace. Like you're in my area, bitch. Why are you here? Why are you here? So I'm just looking. So I looked at her, rolled my eyes, washed my hands, fluffed my hair, you know, took a little Snapchat in the restroom. I'm gonna see if I can find that Snapchat. Took it in the restroom. She not, she not in it, but she was in the restroom when I took the Snapchat. And I just felt her just like looking at me like, yes, bitch, I look good. 
you and all your dusty, crusty ass friends used to call me ugly, but bitch, I look better than all y'all on, on my worst day. <laughs> I'm not gonna go too deep into this hoe because I could really go in on this bitch. But if y'all let me know if y'all want the part two to that story, I keep asking y'all. And y'all just don't want the tea. Now, this is the real tea. The how next door story, that's the real tea, baby. I got two more parts for that. The, I, I went through that shit for a damn near a year. Okay, like, <laughs> I got so much mess for you. Do you want it? Do you want it? Let me know. I walk out the restroom, I see her big ass mama. She was the main instigator in this whole little situation we had two years ago. So no, bitch, I still don't like you to this day. I still, cause you, try, you tried to bully damn near a kid to you, bitch. Cause you, you about 45 at the time, older now. Cause it's been like a good six years since that happened. Yes, I can, I'm a Sagittarius and I hold grudges. Hello, hi. I look her big bad build ass up and down uh, and keep it pushing, bitch. Cause you, you know your daughter can never, period. Never. I go back to my area, bitch. I call, oh my God. I call, so I called, what we gonna name her? If y'all see my um, story time about jealous ex bestie, I called her dumb dumb and that's what we're gonna continue to call her. She was also the friend from the Walmart. I got caught stealing story. I called dumb dumb and I'm like, I just seen this bitch. She got my job. Why the fuck she here? Ah, ah, ah. And um, another little short story time, bitch, I'm getting off of work, driving back to my dude house, baby daddy house. And I see this bitch at a red light, at a red light. So I seen her twice. And I'm just like, what is it? Like, do me and this bitch need to have a talk? Like, is this a sign? Like, what? Like, what's going on? Like, why do I keep seeing this hoe? Like, I know she lives in, like, the general a area, which, okay. But, like, why do I keep seeing this bitch? Why? I'm going off. I'm on the phone, blah, blah, blah. That was that. That was that day. So, fast forward a week, <laughs> the rest of the week, and now I'm at customer service and i'm formally introduced to nay so nay is the one who's telling me like oh how to cashier how to check people out how to you know do the basics at the customer service area how to perform a return an exchange and all that good stuff how to do a store credit and blah 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 so she's telling me and basically i don't know if y'all seen that tiktok where it's like wait what they say this not how you do it but i do it like this. now you also not supposed to do this but this how i do it nobody showed me this but i'm telling you okay so like i felt like that was our that was her whole tutorial for me this is not how you do it but i do it like this and this is not how you do that but i do it like this and i'm just like girl show me the right way and then tell me the little ins and out and shortcuts later on down the line because bitch i'm not trying to get in trouble like i know you doing it your way and stuff but mm -mm. show me the right way first then hook me up later with all the little side notes so I'm just like, okay, um, you seem cool or whatever. We just talking the whole time. Right off the bat, working with Nate was like working with a best friend. Like we laughing, we joking, we relate on many things. We both into makeup, we both into YouTube and all that. We both wanted to start a channel. We had I hadn't started my channel back then. And we both just talking about starting our channels. We could do one together, da da da. And you know when managers see that two co-workers are like hella cool and stuff they're like oh no we can't let y'all work on the same shift because y'all gonna be distracted and y'all gonna blah 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 y'all not gonna get no work done or whatever so working with nay started to become like few and far in between like we work together like twice every two weeks or some shit like we really never work together and it was always like i'm coming in she leaving she coming in i'm leaving and I'm just like, damn, they suck. Like we only, we only really spent like, at the most an hour to thirty minutes together on a shift. So that was lame because she was really like the highlight of my shifts. Like I was not bored with her or anything. So I'm like, damn, why we just can't work together? So you know, when you work in a job, you have to naturally just find something to preoccupy that time. So. I started talking to um, everybody else up there and I started getting cool with them. And I just felt like, I still just kind of felt left out with that. I mean, we wasn't like buddy, buddy, like cool as me and Nate. So <laughs> one day I see this dude, we gonna call him K. And he worked in lumber. 
and I'm just like, oh, he kind of cute. He was like a good, maybe like 6'3", maybe a little taller than that. And he was like buff. And he was cute. He had a little cute face. He was cute. He was younger than me, so I really was not going to mess with him at all. But yeah, he was just somebody that I like to flirt with. So he came up to the service and said something, and we kind of flirted a little, a little bit. And then somebody told me he was married or I don't long story short, me and him had like this like little flirting thing going on. And that's what preoccupied my time. So anytime there was like who from the service desk wanna go get the, you know, miscellaneous baskets or whatever, whatever, I would be like, Me, I do. Let me go see Kay. Let me sashay on the lumber, wearing my little smock. So we had to wear these little ugly ass. I still got mine because they gave me two. So this is the first one they gave me. I have no idea why I took it home. I think I wanted to like decorate it because everybody like decorated theirs. I'm not, I guess I'll show the whole thing. It's nothing. It's just the deep pile. Yeah, nice cute little, I mean not cute, but. <laughs> so I guess, um yeah. So I don't know what I told them. I think I told them like I lost it because I might've took this home and like, misplaced it i'm like i lost it so they then they gave me a big ass ugly one and it was just big as hell and then you know you tie this behind your waist and it kind of like make your booty pop so i'm like let me go sashay over there catch his little attention or whatever so we used to flirt every day we used to close together a lot because he worked the latest shift possible i don't know the fuck why but he did so i used to like linger back there and whatever whatever and my manager michael just would always be cock blocking like every time he didn't have eyes on me uh tatiana to the front desk tatiana to the front desk why i'm trying to talk i'm trying to talk to Kay. and then he would see us like when we had lunches together and stuff he would try to finesse his lunch around my lunch so we could sit together and people started speculating that we were talking and People started telling me, oh, he got a girlfriend. I'm just like, okay, I don't want him. Like, I just like to talk and flirt with him. Like, he kept telling me he didn't have a girlfriend. So I'm really trying not to combine two separate stories that I'm gonna do. So I'm actually not gonna keep getting um, far into the details of Kay and Mike and the other girl we gonna call Jay. I'm gonna do that for another story because it was a whole lot of Home Depot drama, okay? I feel like every job is just drama, but that shit was a different, I mean, it was damn adulterers, adulterers <laughs> in there, married people, fucking just young people, and it was, it was a lot. I'm gonna save that for another story. I went on a date with my manager, Mike, it was, it was that, I'ma just say that. I'ma just focus on Nay. So, <laughs> so back to Nay. One morning we actually opened together. I'm like, yes, I get to work with Nay. We get to talk about makeup and whatever the fuck else. And I know it was just gonna be cool. And I got Starbucks, so like I'm, I'm energized. You know what I'm saying? So we opened together and I think Nay called in and I'm like, dang, bitch, why you gotta call in? Like, now I'm gonna be bored all day. Mind you, Home Depot opened at 6, so me just naturally an early bird. I was there at like 5.15, sitting in the parking lot, and then I went in at 5.30 and went to the back and, you know, just chilled in the back until like 6 o'clock. So, Nay calls in, but then Nay shows up, and I'm like, yes, girl, why you call in? Da -da -da -da. She was like, man, I was not gonna come. I'm not feeling it. And she looked like she had just woke up and like rolled out of bed and just came to work. So I'm like, okay, I don't care, bitch. I'm just glad you're here because I did not want to be bored all day with these ass kissers up here because I started figuring out like everybody not as cool as Nay. Like these other people, like they they love to kiss ass. So me and Nay's just talking, talking. The day is going on, doing returns, blah, blah, blah. And then I go for my break and I see um, a store credit on the floor. So I'm like, who the hell dropped their store credit? First, I just thought it was a blank card. Then I turned it over and it had an amount on it. And I'm like, oh, this is like somebody's store credit. So I go back to the front desk um, of customer service. I scan it to see how much on it. It was like 136. Let me show y'all because I actually still got the card. This is the exact store credit that I found. Let me see. This is the exact card that I found. It's old and raggedy and crusty dusty. 
and oh actually it was 132 on this card let me show y'all 132 can y'all see that i don't know if y'all can see that but it says 132 i think the light is too bright let me turn it down 132 so this is what was on the card initially so i'm like nay girl i just found this um store credit i think somebody dropped it and like what the fuck should we do I'm geek. I don't know why I'm geek. Like it, it was a Home Depot card. Like what could we get out of Home Depot? Like, granted, I did want like a mirror, a long mirror, and some probably some other stuff for like a vanity. But I'm like, 132 is not enough for that. Like Home Depot is low key expensive. So for like the um, pre put together stuff, like the mirrors were like damn near twenty dollars for no reason. I'm just like okay. And then like the little vanity thing that I wanted, that shit was like damn near two hundred dollars. So I'm like no, it's not gonna work. So I'm like girl, what should we do? So we're thinking, and they was like, bitch, I got an idea. I'm like what girl what? So she's like, I'm finna go get some stuff from the back, pretend to return it, and put it on this card. I'm like, girl, first of all, that's fraud. And won't that come right back to you under your name? Nay just really didn't care. I think she just knew, like, bitch, I'm finna be out of here. Because she did always talk about quitting and stuff. So, I mean, if you quit, like, what can they do? Like, you're gone. Like, I don't, they're not really going to do much because you're gone. Like, I'm pretty sure if she didn't quit and shit would have went down how it went down, like, she would have just got fired. Like, they're not going to, like, press charges or whatever. So, Nave goes and she gets like a big items and she returns it. So, the 132 plus everything she returned, it was about like 250 on the card now. And she was like, okay, we could split this right down the middle and you could just let, you could just let me borrow the card. I'm gonna spend what I wanna spend and then I'm gonna give it back to you. So I'm like, girl, no i don't want to do this like i don't need shit that bad like no <laughs> you can go you can because she was talking about moving so home depot did have like napkins and tissue and fabuloso and brooms i'm like girl just go get everything you need for your apartment i don't want no parts she was like girl no i don't need this much like just relax like they're not even gonna find out the way i finesse the system like they'll never find out i'm just like okay all right okay <laughs> this is like one of the stupidest things i've done because i wanted the gift card but at the same time i didn't because i wasn't sure if she knew what she was doing like for some reason i trusted nature like that was my girl we was hanging out every day after work we didn't work together so i would hang out at her house her and her dude I was like, okay, she not gonna put me in a position to get caught or nothing like that. I trusted this girl. I don't know why. <laughs> she takes the card first because she goes and she buys everything that she needs. And she gives me the card, obviously, because I still have it. That's that. So for the longest time, I did not even use this card. I barely looked at it. I really just kept this card in my purse. Did not use it because I was so scared of this shit going back to me. So the next day, the man, the original like owner of this card, he comes back and he's like, who did me a store credit for such and such amount? And I lost the card. And I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. Like when you lose your store credit, F I, this guy, I initially did not know what he was talking about. The amount did not ring any bells to me. I was super confused. So I was just talking to him like another customer not like a guilty party so i'm like when you lose your store credit there's pretty much nothing we can do about it um we can't transfer it over to another card because you don't have the initial card you could be lying to me for all i know and he didn't have a receipt so he calls the um manager we're gonna call her t he calls t up and he's like i got a store credit yesterday i must have lost it like what can you do for me i need that money like i already returned the merchandise you can roll back the cameras you can look it up in the system and blah 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 so she looks it up in the system 
and she says that the card is active and is actively being used so for all we know he's lying to us so he he makes this whole big deal about it he's like i didn't use this card y'all are fraud blah 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 i will be talking to the proper authorities about this y'all are scamming people and da 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 da, da. so t talks to me about it and i'm like yeah i did the store credits under my name but i don't i don't i have no idea what he's talking about because i genuinely didn't i don't know why nothing clicked to me so that was that like there was nothing much that we can do like they could have um ran back like the purchases of it but they can't like literally see who did it because first of all nay purchased her stuff at another home depot granted they could have called that home depot and tell them to run a clips back but they're not going to do that like they're lazy and that was that like there was nothing we could do for real so i noticed that from then on out every time something happened like that because that actually happens more than you think at home depot people do lose their store credits or you think you did a store credit and it didn't go through so after that every time i did a store credit and there was an issue with it i i really felt them looking at me sideways as if i was scamming as if i was taking their store credit yes baby as if i was taking the store credits or something like that. yes baby nala just likes to make her appearances she just likes y'all to know that she's I around store credit um malfunctions or whatever they had happened a few more times after that but then i started noticing that t would have to talk to me about them which she had never done it was always like a oh okay you know mistakes happen type of thing but how often it happened it was just like it should have been a red flag that she would have to start talking to me after every time something happened it wasn't like it was just a like what the hell like this is normal like this happens more with the tenured people than me so why are you talking to me and that should have been my red flag like oh they know what you and they did basically like i'm implicated whether i actually did it or not i'm still implicated because i literally had the card and i'm pretty sure they seen that on camera because at home depot there's cameras everywhere i'm gonna get to that i'm gonna get to that <clears throat> but it wasn't it was just like a what the hell type of thing so fast forward it kept happening all these red flags like t started to act funny at first she was cool always talking to us but then she started to act funny and i'm just like okay mike started to act funny and those should have been the red flags that i caught but i didn't so one day um we were preparing for store inspection and i had to open that day it's about to go down I opened with actually one other person in T. So this day, when I tell y'all I did the bare minimum at Home Depot, like I did my job, but I didn't go overboard with my job. You know what I'm saying? But this day, I don't know what, I don't know what I was trying to prove. I don't know what was going on. It was just like a really good day for me. You know, I had my Starbucks and I'm amped up and i'm doing my job like i'm going above and beyond on this job i'm I'm doing the damn thing okay i'm i'm rolling shit bitch i'm pulling heavy stuff i'm cleaning girl i'm through i'm breaking down boxes it was just a good day i had like no reason to be suspicious like don't be suspicious don't be suspicious like i had no reason to be suspicious like i feel like it was just really like i was working hard but then again it was like a free day for me because i was running all around the store everybody was talking to me like i stayed in the back room breaking down boxes for like a good 45 minutes nobody came looking for me so i'm working as hard as i ever worked like at this damn job i'm doing all kinds of stuff that i've never done before and i'm just like okay this is a good job and i'm about to get off at like two o'clock it's about 12 i'm about to get off and on this day they had donuts and stuff so i'm telling mike like oh bring me a donut like i'm bugging him about this donut i'm like i want a donut like the donuts were for only managers but i'm telling him like give me a donut like i really want a donut you're not gonna bring me a donut like you always flirting with me so what's up give me something <laughs> if you're not gonna give me no money you can at least give me a donut so he's like all right all right i'm gonna bring you a donut i'm gonna bring you a donut whatever so mike goes away for a little bit and it's like about 30 whole minutes later he comes he comes to the front desk and he's like um i need to see you in my office and i'm like okay 
the hell? I'm thinking like he called me in his office quite a bit. So I'm thinking like he just want to sit and like talk and stuff like he usually do act like it's like something important, but we really just talk it. So I go in his office and I sit down. He's just talking. He just like, he really just make a small talk like nothing is the problem. And then he leaves and he comes back and he brings me a donut. So I'm like, oh, okay, okay. But before I even have time to take a bite out of this delicious warm ass donut, he goes like, follow me. So I'm following him and he was like, okay, you gotta sit, you need to sit up in here. And I'm like, well, can I bring my donut? And he was like, yeah, you can bring your donut. Go ahead and eat it. So I bring my donut and I'm just like, I don't even wanna eat this donut no more because I can already feel like something is not right. Like, why am I in here? So I'm sitting there and I'm just thinking, thinking, thinking. I'm just thinking, I'm like, okay, this is weird. Like, this has never happened to me before. Then the door opens. The door opens and a man with a laptop comes in. So I'm like, okay. He sits in front of me and he's like, what's your name? And I'm like, Tatiana. It's like, nice to meet you, Tatiana. My name is so-and-so. We're gonna call him Jake. My name is Jake and I am, he's like head of asset protection, but he called it something else. He called it something like more technical. So I'm like, okay, nice to meet you. He was like, Tatiana, do you know why you're in here? And I'm like, no, Jake, I don't. What's going on? This is weird. This has never happened. He was like, let me tell you a little bit about me and my history. I'm like, oh God. Okay, go ahead, enlighten me. So he's like, um, I started working for Home Depot at this age. I'm, um, and then I got hired on as asset protection. I'm like, oh hell. When he said asset protection, I already knew it was up. Like, I didn't really want to hear the rest of his damn story. And he was like, I've been working for asset protection for um, seven years and blah, blah, blah. I've been, now I'm promoted to whatever the hell his position was now. I don't know what his position was. I forgot what he called it. So he's like, I, I know everything. He starts talking about bleeding orange again. He's like, I bleed orange. I love Home Depot. I would never betray them. I'm like, nigga, you acting like this is the mafia. Is it, did I sign up to be in a mafia? Because what's going on? What's going on? I bleed red for the last time. My blood is red. Then he starts talking about Home Depot's camera system. He was like, did you know that Home Depot camera system can zoom in to the tiniest microscope on your finger. I'm like, okay. And he was like, um, so we can see every input you put into the computer, every keystroke, everything you look up, down to da 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 da. I'm like, what's your point, Jakey? Get to the point. So <laughs> I already knew what his point was. So so then he brings up um stealing. It's like have you ever stole or da 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 da? I'm like, no, Jake. No, I haven't. He was like, okay. So then he finally, I don't know. He lingers it out. And he finally gets to the store credit thing. He was like, okay. So you and another employee didn't um, steal. Then he says the amount, which was like $250. $250 worth of Home Depot store credit. And I'm like, no, absolutely not. Who's like, we have you on camera. I was like, can I see that? Can I see the camera footage? He was like, absolutely, you can see the camera footage, but first I'm gonna call the police. I'm like, okay. He was like, okay, uh, okay, are you are you sure? Are you sure about that? We could, we could view this down at the police station. Is that the route you wanna take or do you just wanna give me your smock? I'm like, it doesn't matter to me. This is when I started getting the attitude and Mike is standing right there just like witnessing all of it with his fake ass. He could have told me what the fuck was up as much as he be all up in my damn face. So I'm like, Jake, I don't have time for this. Like, what is your point? Are you firing me? And Jake was like, we don't condone. Jake got ignorant. Let me tell you how Jake got ignorant. <laughs> Jake said, we don't con condone stealing. We don't condone this, this and that. If you bleed orange, you made a vow to bleed orange. I'm like, Jake, I, I, I never, I never made that vow, sweetheart. My blood is red for the last time. I don't, I don't bleed orange. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> the fuck, they really don't, Home Depot don't play about bleeding orange. You bleed fucking orange, period. They don't, they don't care. You, you no longer bleed red, it's orange now. You're, you're their property now. 
So Jake is like, okay, well, I, I'm, I'm gonna call, the police are being called right now. I can walk you so you can clean out your locker and blah, blah. Jake just talking shit. Jake talked so much shit and it's crazy how he started out just like so nice and then he got ignorant real quick and I, I don't even blame him because I got ignorant too. So I'm like, I can't, I can go clean out my locker by myself. Y'all don't have to walk me. He was like, well, take off the smock, take off the smock right now. And I'm like, you can have this little crusty ass smock, this shit dirty, old and worn out. I don't give a fuck about this smock. Jake followed me to the um, employee like lounge or whatever. I, I take the smock off. I throw it on the table. Drake, Jake scoops it up right away. Um, now at this point, Mike and T are watching along with Jake. I guess they had to escort me out the building. I feel like when you escort someone out the building, you're really just trying to like embarrass them because I, I know the way out the bucket building. Like you're not going to have a hard time for me. So I'm cleaning out my locker. I'm like, fuck Home Depot. Y'all, y'all this, y'all that. Like, fuck all y'all fake bitches. You up in here fucking the, um, girl, I was, I was, no, I, she wasn't in there. The girl that was fucking a, um, a little kid, like, not a little kid, but he was like 20 something and she was like fucking 37. So I'm like, bitches up in here fucking, bitches up in here married fucking kids and this a bitch is drunk on the job and da 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 people fucking every everybody fucking everybody up in here i don't want to work for this company so i'm talking so much shit i sl i get everything on my locker i slam that bitch closed um throw the little locker like the little the little lock on the table and he was like well you you need to watch your language you need to stop cursing them i was like i don't work for you fuck you jake a uh, girl <laughs> Jake got it. Let me tell y'all, Jake got it that day. I'm like, Jake, fuck you. Fuck Home Depot. Fuck all y'all. I don't work for you no more. You don't tell me what the fuck to do. I'm I'm dropping F-bombs right, left, right, left. Hold on. Left, left and right. right. I'm dropping F-bombs left and right. You're not like, bitch, I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't work for you. Don't tell me how to speak. Respectfully. So, he's walking me out. He's really walking behind me because I was out of there, deuces and and um walking past the front desk like where my area i can't lie that was the most embarrassing because everybody's looking at me and i'm just like rolling my eyes mike is looking at me t is looking at me and i was so nice and respectful on this job so i'm sure like that little switch that like went off in my head the little the, the change like they were not expecting like me to get that ignorant because i never ever got ignorant on this job like it was just like y'all really tried to play me this nigga might try to play me with this donut bringing me back here like he trying to talk and all that and he knew what was going on and t tried to play me having me work my ass off because she like knew it was my last day like i was so fucking livid i was livid girl i got in that car and i sped off so fast with my final fuck you as i walked out the front door girl i was so mad i just drove to like um a little like neighborhood i had to pull over and call nay i told nay everything that happened low key i wanted to go off on nay because this was all her fucking fault and nothing happened to her because she had quit like weeks ago she had quit like three weeks ago so nothing happened to her it was all on me it made it seem like it was like i did everything but in reality yeah i had the card hadn't used it yet mind you nay ass used it up and quit I'm just like, I'm thinking like everybody was in cahoots, like they knew this shit was gonna happen. Like my mind was racing. Like when I tell you when shit not adding up, when two plus two is equal in 35, I'm blaming everybody. Okay, ain't nobody safe. Like you betrayed me, you betrayed me, you betrayed me, you betrayed me. So I call her and she's like, oh damn, really? What the fuck? Da, 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 da. I'm like, yeah, bitch, whatever. I forgot what I did that day. Actually, I think I ended up going over to her house that day and we was just like talking about it the whole time. Um, because like I said, it wasn't time for me to get off. So I didn't want to go back to my dude place and he'd be like, Oh, what you doing here so early? Like, so for a little while, I pretended like I still had that job to him and I would always go over to Nay place. But not long after I got fired, I guess I get a text message. I think this was like three days later. I get a text message and guess who it's from? Mike. It's from Mike. And this is a whole nother story, y'all. When I tell y'all this is a whole nother story, this man texts me, I'm so disappointed in you. I wish I still had these text messages. Oh my God. I think I had my um my old iPhone. I had my old iPhone, my iPhone XR, which everything had to be wiped because I forgot my 
my uh my pen on it so this man texts me i'm so disappointed in you and i'm like who is this then like hours later he texts me mike y'all this man really went into the system got my number because as much as he flirted with me as much as he was in my face he never had my number i guess he he was not trying to lose his job this man really went into the system pulled back up my file and got my phone number and text me i'm just like what the hell this is a whole nother story y'all i will make that the part two because uh we talked for a while like i was single in this little point so we did talk for a while but it was just like you really got the nerve to hit me up after you basically just like played me in my face like you i feel like he like helped set it up you know what i'm saying tried to make me comfortable talking to me in his office giving me a donut and then like five seconds later he's like oh follow me sit down in this chair up in this room and then jake comes in and ambushes my ass it's fake as hell mind you that whole day mike was flirting with me whole day he was acting like everything was good he acting like everything good and i'm just like wow everybody's fucking fake everybody is fucking fake and so yeah i got fired whatever and another girl from the front desk was like oh what happened and i'm like girl what, what are they saying happened because you know what the fuck happened why are you asking me and she was like she messaged me on snapchat and she was like oh they're saying you got fired because you were stealing and i'm like okay what what you want me to spill tea for you no bitch get the fuck off my phone and she was like oh i don't fuck with that why were you stealing girl fuck you because we was not even cool you was a fake ass bitch too so girl bye i'm just like y'all nobody knows like i didn't even air nay out or nothing like everybody think it was me everybody think i stole i guess but anybody that i used to work with ever come across this video you know the truth now bitch i didn't steal a thing okay yes i kept the store credit yes i did that's the only thing i'm guilty of but it is what it is i do regret taking the damn store credit i got fired i damn sure wasn't using it like i'm like they could fucking track that shit and arrest me i feel like they was watching and waiting for me to use this damn card and i just was not gonna do it i was not gonna do it so yeah that's the story about the time how when i got fired i've been fired for stealing <laughs> so yeah actually i have another um story time about being fired for stealing so if y'all want that go ahead and let me know in the comments it was probably all over the place and that's because bitch it was it was really just so many interruptions for this video and i try to keep it as short as possible so whatever <laughs> enjoy it still even though it's all over the place so yeah, but nonetheless, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe. Don't forget to also check out my community tab. That's why that's where I create the polls so y'all can vote and see what video y'all want to see next. Because like I said, I'm not going to be just dry recording and that's not what y'all want to see. So let me know. Let me know what y'all want to see. What tea y'all need spilt and I will spill it gladly. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching this video. Thank you for staying tuned to the end. I'm trying to get better at my storytelling skills, but my mind be going like 300 miles per minute. And sometimes shit, it just be what it is, okay? <laughs> so if I left something out, you will hear the voiceover, okay? Don't act surprised. Y'all know how we get down over here. Voiceover queen. Anyway, thank you for watching, like I said before. And I'm gonna see y'all in my next video. Bye. Oh.